What's good everyone? Over the past couple of weeks, I've got quite a number of questions of people asking me different questions related to tech and I've decided to turn it into a series where I answer everything on YouTube and get their questions answered and show them how to do certain things right here on YouTube. So this week's question was, how do you hide an app on your iPhone and where does the hidden app go? And also, how do you unhide the app after I've hidden it? Which is a good question. For the past couple of years, most of the features that were available on Android devices, like the ability to hide an app, weren't available on iPhone. But thanks to the release of iOS 18, you are now able to hide apps. That's literally hide the app. You lock it with Face ID. You hide the app. It doesn't show on your home screen. And it also doesn't show in your app library. But there's a section there that hides the app. And I'll show you how to get to everything. So I'll show you how to hide the app, how to lock it, and how to unhide the app. So let's begin. I'm Desi, and this is how to hide and lock an app on an iPhone. So first things first, you should have iOS 18 installed on your phone. And to do that, you should need a compatible device that's from the iPhone XR or iPhone XR all the way up to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. All these phones are compatible with iOS 18, so you should have it installed on your iPhone. If you don't have it installed yet and you're still on iOS 17, head over to Settings, General, Software Updates, and update your device to iOS 18. I think currently we're on iOS 18.4, which brings new features. So that's the one you should be seeing if you're not updated to iOS 18 and you're still on iOS 17. So once you have that downloaded and installed, or once you already have it installed on your device, all you have to do is find the app you want to hide. So let's use WhatsApp in this case. I want to hide WhatsApp and I don't want it to appear on my home screen. Neither should it appear in my app library and it should be logged as well. So to do that, all you have to do is simply long press on the app, tap on require face ID. Then you'll be asked, require face ID in terms of locking it or hide and require face ID. So just simply tap on hide and require face ID. You are taken through a setup process that tells you the app will no longer be visible on your iPhone except in places like settings. Face ID or passcode will be required to reveal, open or use Siri within the app. Just simply read that. If you agree to that, tap on hide app. So now as you can see, the app is no longer appearing on my home screen. Neither does it show in my app library. So if I search for WhatsApp on my app library, it doesn't appear even though I have it installed on my phone. Now this is where things get interesting. The app is actually hidden in your app library. So simply swipe to your app library, scroll to the very bottom. You see a new folder written hidden. Now, if someone takes your phone and goes to your app library, they'll see the folder called hidden, but they'll not be able to access the hidden folder to know exactly what app you've hidden. That is good. So once you find the hidden folder, simply tap on it, it unlocks your face ID and it reveals the app that's been hidden. Now, if you want to unhide the app, you simply long press on the app again, tap on Don't Require Face ID. The Face ID is checked and the app is removed from the hidden folder in the app library. Now, all you have to do to bring it back to the home screen is to long press on it again and swipe to your home screen. It's as simple as that. But also, let's say you don't want to hide the app and just want to lock it. Like the first step earlier, simply long press on the app, tap Require Face ID, and tap on Require Face ID. So now, if you want to open your WhatsApp, it will require a Face ID, and this is really helpful if you give your phone to people and they are really inquisitive and like to snoop around your conversations. They'll not be able to open WhatsApp without having your Face ID or without having their faces enrolled in your device. So this is really a good addition to iOS 18. And there are many more features I'll show you guys in another video. But for now, this is how to hide an app, this is how to lock it, and this is how to unlock it with this ID. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm Desi. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you again in my next video. Peace.